The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Have you ever come across a disturbing image that makes you ask, what is this? What happened? And could it happen to me? So take a look at this picture. Anyone have any idea what this is? It is a bruise. Very, it's, a, it's a big bruise, right? Very so how did this happen? This woman coughed so hard, she broke a rib. And it turns out she had a whooping cough. So she went to the doctor after developing a dry cough. It lasted a few weeks. Severe pain in her right side. What's crazy is this bruise showed up. And then the docs realized, well, number one, she was dealing with whooping cough. But number two, they did a CT scan. She, I just can't believe she coughed so hard. She literally broke a rib, displaced the rib. Yeah. I mean, that's an impressive yeah. CT yes, scan. That, 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 that is a bad fracture. I mean, fracturing your ribs happens not that uncommonly, but typically it's not displaced. This one is severely displaced. That's what led to all of this bruising. Yeah, and, and as you all may know, whipping cough is caused by bacteria. It's called pertussis. And many of us actually get vaccinations for this. But the idea is that the immunity only lasts about 10 years. This patient had actually had a booster, but it, it was about eight years prior. And the name whooping cough comes from the fact that it's such a severe cough that you expel so much air from your lungs. When you breathe in, it makes this characteristic sort of whoop noise. You whoop? Yeah, and it's because <laughs> No air. You're, you're literally coughing that hard. And apparently, when adult, it's more common in kids. So you often hear about whooping cough in children. But when adults get this, it's so severe that 4% of people actually break a rib like this. Potentially deadly in kids. That's why when we talk about vaccinating for pertussis, one of the big reasons an adult should be vaccinated is because your risk of passing it on to a young one who's, whose lungs aren't quite as well developed, you know, it's, it's an important thing. But, but this kind of action right here, the amount of coughing you would have to do to literally break a rib, displace it, and the location of that broken rib, too, right next to the liver. Yeah. I don't know if you all saw that. Very dangerous. You don't love broken ribs right oh. near these vascular yeah. organs. So Yeah, this, this patient got better got with better. the appropriate antibiotic and actually needed surgery to fix the rib. Very rarely yeah. will you get a surgical fix of a broken rib. Yeah. You know, normally they, they will resolve on oh, their yeah. own over time. But the biggest thing also with broken ribs, or even if you have just a, 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 a bruised rib, if you're splinting and you can't take a nice deep breath, it's worth talking to your doctor because one of the biggest issues with broken ribs is what happens is we call it splinting, where instead of a nice deep breath, you just take <gasps> And over, over time, your lung will, those little air spaces will start to collapse on themselves. You can end up with secondary bacterial infections. It can become a really ugly picture.